the Turkish vice president a few days ago said something very interesting that they are looking forward to normalizing ties right. with, uh, with Armenia in coordination with uh, Azerbaijan. And uh, my question is, uh, is, does you know, Armenia welcome this? And more importantly, uh, do you take it at uh, face value? Okay. I think, first of all, the question, does Armenia welcome this? It's already a complex issue. Well, who is Armenia? Armenia inside is politically divided, especially after the war. As you can imagine, every, every state when you have a war and you lose the war, and there are so much tensions. Then it's not homogeneous in its behavior. And then I will never take the sort of a, an action saying that I'm speaking on behalf of Armenia. First of all, I'm the president of a parliamentary republic. I'm the head of state but I'm not executive. Who runs the current affairs is the government. And it's the government that has to answer to the Turkish side and the offer. And basically, if they decide that they are happy to go ahead with that, that's fine. Okay. And then they have to, if they start the negotiations, it's, it's their business. But eventually, any agreement which is basically achieved or created should has uh, I think should go through a process, even in Turkey, but specifically in Armenia, it has to go the formal process of being brought to the to the Parliament of the Republic we, we, because we are a parliamentary republic. There should be public debate on this, be that on the level of NGOs or analysts or just people, and of course any form of agreement, everything which will be supported by the parliament as well, will eventually come to my, to my table. So it will be absolutely wrong for the head of state of a parliamentary republic to prejudge and give valuation or to, do, to say something which is just starting and has not reached my table. The moment it comes and reaches my table, you will hear my voice. And of course, as the president of the republic, I. I can either sign it, whatever is agreed, if I consider it, that is going parallel or, or in, har in harmony with the national interest of the state and the people of Armenia, Armenians worldwide, which is much bigger. Okay? Or I have a ch chance not to sign it, send it, for example, to a constitutional co court. So the top lawyers should discuss this issue and give me advice. 